Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is June 16th, and that means day 166 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out Clint the Chameleon, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 166 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description there's a facts section. There's also the Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. On today's episode, we printed out Clint the Chameleon, and our print turned out awesome. I am really happy with the results. And we printed this with some of that Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of Midnight Blue on our GMAX 1.5 XT+. And the reason why I'm printing this is because I was watching a video from Juicy Moose where he was doing a review of UV Reactive PLA. And he had printed out this cool little chameleon. And I'd not seen the link in the description, which is no big deal. I'm a very resourceful person, I can find it. And it turns out this is part of a MakerBot collection of little pets that you can print. So I head over to Thingiverse where we downloaded the model and then we dragged the model over into Simplify 3D and that's where the problem started. So let's head over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you what I found. All right, folks, so here we are in Simplify 3D and I have an empty build plate here. I haven't started with anything. I did save my factory file because it does have my settings in here. But anyway, let's grab the Clint the Chameleon model and we'll bring it over to Simplify 3D. It'll take a second, and this is what you discover if you download this model and bring it over to the print bed. Now there's two parts to this print. There's his accessories, which I can show you here. I'll just drag these over just so you see them. And these are his accessories, which is a little cocktail and a little shrubbery and a little bowl here. The other part that comes with it is Clint the Chameleon. The file's actually named Clint the Chameleon, so I assume this was just the chameleon, and if it was a build plate, there'd be two parts here. But there are two parts here. Unfortunately, MakerBot put it inside. Now, I honestly don't think that was their intention. Maybe they intended for you to print it inside of here and then you'd have like some sort of surprise when you're done like, oh, there's a little chameleon inside. But I don't think that was their, their intention. So if you do discover this, there's a way to separate these two models. And I'll show you how to do that. Make sure your model is selected and you come up to Mesh and do Separated Connected Surfaces. Now this is going to take a long, long time to do because it does have to read all the different polygons in the geometry and decide which surfaces are going to be separated. So I'm not going to do this in real time. I am going to start it up and then I'll speed the video up just a little bit just so we can get down to the end of it. So as soon as I hit this, it's going to pinwheel for a little while, so stay tuned. All right, so we're back, and that took about four minutes. That's not too bad. And as you can see here in the models, there are two separate models now. We have the, the tank for which Clint the Chameleon was actually inside of, and if we turn off the tank, now we have Clint the Chameleon. And you can just delete the other part, unless you want to print them both at the same time, but I only wanted to print Clint. And now we have our separate model. And now we're ready for printing, and now you can change all your settings and add support material if you feel it's necessary. But that is a very good way to separate connected surfaces in Simplify 3D. And especially if you get a full build plate full of parts and you have a smaller build plate and you don't want to uh, avoid printing something just because of that issue. You can just come up under Mesh, Separate Connected Surfaces, give it a little bit of time because it will take some time depending on your processor speed and what's available for RAM. And it will separate all the models and then you can turn off and delete the ones you can actually fit, fit on your print bed or if you have a situation like this where a model comes in and the two of them are somewhat merged together. So there you go, that's how you separate connected surfaces in Simplify 3D. So as you can see from the Simplify 3D video, it took a little bit of a journey to get Clint the Chameleon available for printing. So for whatever reason, MakerBot had included both models in one build plate, which is awesome, but the chameleon was inside the tank that he comes in. And as, as I showed you in Simplify 3D, you can separate connected surfaces and then you'll have the two models. But I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, I sent it over to the GMAX for printing. And once we had it printing, I did have a small problem. The very first print, 
the support material, which is stuck here to the skirt, started to curl up a little bit. And for whatever reason, the very first layer came out as like little blobs. It didn't come out as a full support material um, lines of material. But I wanted to see how long it would print and see if it would print because I didn't want to cancel it. But I did end up canceling it and it only printed out just a little bit of it. So I reset the position of where the model was on the print bed and I started up the printer again. And this time it actually worked out really good. And we printed this at a 0.2 millimeter layer height with three top layers, three bottom layers, and only 7% infill. We also generated a little bit of support material, and that did leave a little bit of scarring on his chin there, but that's not a big deal, and I'm not going to reprint it just because of that. And I probably didn't even need the support material, looking at the angle and the way the filament looks on here. It, it probably would have been fine without it. Underneath his nose, on the other hand, though, that is just, it shows signs of definitely needing support material, so I'm glad I actually did put it on there. And then we also ran this out at 45 millimeters per second, and it took about, I think it took about seven hours to print, and it wasn't too bad. We did enlarge it to, or scale it up to 175%, and the final print actually looks really, really good. But it was a heck of a journey just to get this little guy to print, and I'll probably print some more of these little pet pals, I believe they're called, from MakerBot, but I did think it was kind of funny that one of the models that I downloaded, there was two models stuck together like that. So not a good thing, MakerBot. You guys definitely check your work before you post it. But either way, I really love this print. I'm definitely gonna use him at 100% as a test print because it would only take a couple hours to print because it really does show off a lot of the detail that the printer can capture. And it really does highlight the way the, the filament looks because this is that midnight blue and Clint looks really, really good in Midnight Blue. It's a very cool color. So I'm definitely happy with the results. But definitely watch your models when you're downloading them from any of the STL sites and make sure that none of your uh, models are connected. And if you do get a build plate full of uh, models that uh, one of the artists creates, you can separate them if you only want to print certain parts of it. You're not stuck with that build plate, build plate that they've created. So those are some very good tips in Simplify 3D. But as far as the print goes, I'm really happy with it and I really love this midnight blue filament from Matter Hackers and my GMAX did such a stellar job on this print. Besides the support material scarring, there's no blobs, there's no globs, there's no layer skips. It's a very clean print. All the detail looks really, really good and I'm super happy with the results. Well, that about wraps it up for day 166 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.